Sports Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, Basil Chapman here, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 o'clock and the uh, my author of the opening call daily newsletter. This is the 4 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow closed down 190 at 35,123. Now, what's really important, you see each one of these candles in the daily chart on the left. Look how the market tried to rally off the lows. At this point, you would expect with the other indices all very negative already for a, a little bit longer than the Dow, um, the, the Dow 30 actually has the components that is showing some kind of rotational support. Why? Because look at the pattern here looking at the S&P. Much weaker. Look at that sharp move down and that nine period unlike the Dow, which is still above the 14 period, crossed negative yesterday and today. So this says you've got a sell mode in the daily. That just is a designation. It doesn't say, oh, my God, sell mode. It just says now you've reached the level that's called the sell mode. The weekly chart still looks pretty good. Now what's important is that the 50 period moving average in about the 4417 level holds at any major slide. But at this particular point, it's filling the different gaps on the left side, looking at the QQQ also. A couple of days now, it's gone negative from the nine period moving average in a sell mode in the daily. Again, none of the weekly charts are in sell signals even, let alone sell mode. But the dailies are, and this is very sharp, it says that 364 to 362 is going to be key support over the next week. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, still hasn't. It's so close, but it hasn't gone negative. It does in the RTY, which is the futures. You'll see it's gone pink. So I'm expecting that the IWM can have a little bit of a bounce, but I think it's going to go down at 191.61 right now, uh, down to 143. I think it's going to test the 188 level in the next uh, week. We're looking at the gold. Gold is down very sharply, down uh, 11 at 1948, the left side low. Um, of July back I think it was July the 1st uh, is should be tested by tomorrow in the 1940s that's going to be really important the dollar try to rally you would expect the dollar to be much higher it's not it's down 11 ticks at 102.45 we're looking at rotational strength and weakness all over the show but the bonds are really important the bonds trading up at 97.19 can the bonds get to 98.80 to 99 that's going to be the big question and with that crude oil is breaking out so and a very good move with natural gas. Have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll see you tomorrow. Tom O'Brien will be back. And uh, check out TFNN with all the hosts. Great programming. See you tomorrow. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like